Hello, hello. Okay, Akasun's Q&A here. Uh, part 3, I believe. I'm waiting for this goddamn thing to load. Uh, render. Hurry up and render so we can uh, upload the X-Men thing. So, let's go ahead and get into this right now. Here's the last one. Oh, it's disappearing soon. What's the first thing you'd do if you were the opposite sex for one day? Fucked myself. <laughs> Basically, I guess. Oh, I, uh, stop, that shit's gonna show up somewhere else on the internet. Who is or was your favorite wrestler of all time? By far, Triple H. I'm gonna turn this music down. Triple H had the work ethic, and he very much reminds me, him and Kanye sometimes remind me of myself, so to speak. I see myself in them like, uh, let's stick with Triple H for that analogy though, but you know, p like, people don't always like him, but they do respect him and what he brings to the business and such, and I just always respected that fact, um, even before, like I was a fan of him when he was feuding with Ben Wall, even before that, I always thought he was a good heel and I always thought his ethic work ethic was great and it kind of was difficult to still hate him after he got hurt and he, tw he tore his quadricep and finished the match and shit um it was really hard to hate him afterwards so then they had to start making him kind of like more of a face in between sometimes and it, even it was really hard but it was a difficult time to make get behind him but um very much very easy to hate him so yeah but i loved him as a bad guy it was great um how tall am i i'm 5 11 same as tyrone actually we talked about that before like we would say, like we were there's something we're uh thinking about and we were just like damn dude that really is like batman versus batman so um what version of Batman and his story do you like the most the one from the Arkham games the Dark Knight trilogy Animated shows or com comics? God damn, T Jizzle, you, you, you got me on that one. That's hard. Like, I think the Batman: The Dark Knight trilogy was the best Bruce Wayne story ever told. Um, and uh, just was really just fucking good and inspiring. Just in my own private life as well, um, because the movies will always have that flair of something more. The comic, I can't even, you know, I can't compare because they're all different. But I will, for me personally, the animated one, the animated story and the Arkham games actually are kind of one and the same to me. And I don't know if that's just because it's Kevin Conroy, Mark Hamill still doing the voice. Paul Dini wrote uh, two of the Arkham games. So I don't know if that's why, but it's all the kind of same for me. Um, but there's just little scenes, you know, I can tell you my favorite moments where uh, I didn't, I wasn't a big fan of Justice League Unlimited. Uh, I didn't, I don't like Justice League Batman. I like Batman, Batman, the more gothic lore type character. But I did like that one scene where he um, sat with Ace and uh, have uh, watched her die, basically, like the entire night. That, whew, that was a rough one. But there's other moments in that show that was just really good. And in the comics, um... I'm really enjoying what uh, Scott Snyder is doing out of Batman. I It might go down as one of my best Batman arcs, um, but it takes a while. Like, I will say that um, for what it's worth, as much as I'm not really a big fan of uh, Frank Miller anymore and what he's done to Batman, um, I really like what Jeff Loeb, like, I know he gets critiqued a lot, and he people don't really look at him a lot as, like, a good Batman writer, but I actually think a lot of his work is really good, and if anything, the combination of him and Jim Lee doing Hush, the Hush storyline, just brought me back into comics tenfold, like, just the fact, like, that was a great story for me, it was able they threw in all the villains and they had a great arc and it actually what was best what was great about that story is you didn't need to get any crossover stuff um to 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 uh stay on top of this thing and then even though the story ended it left all these multiple arcs for other writers to pick up later jason todd coming back hush um Catwoman and Batman actually having a thing going on, like, 
uh, Raza Ogo, there's so many arcs that were really good, but it never felt like, oh shit, that was left uh, left open. Like, it was just, okay, cool, there's a good start off point here. All right. Um, keep making good content. Uh, halfway to uh, 100k, thank you. After that, I retire. Why are you so freaking cute, Holly? That's because that's the way God made me. He put some rust on, and he was just like, Yo, man, I'm gonna make this mean ass motherfucker right here, Aka son. I don't actually think I'm that cute, though. I'm just damn sexy. <laughs> um, what has been your most delicious dinner so far in Japan? Oh, shit. Um, so far. Wait, did I, didn't I answer this one before? Maybe not. But uh, there's a woman, a Kyushu woman that was able to put something together real nice, something called Shabu Shabu, and it was just, uh, hey, you know what, I recorded this before, right? But in terms of a dinner, somebody asked me this before, but anyways, uh, recently I had a really good yakiniku dinner, uh, just recently, and it's half price for half the size, and that kind of sucks, but they're using quality meat, and every bite was so good, but you can go broke there. Maybe for Christmas dinner, I'll go there. Um, do you arrange your hair to go to sleep at night or do you sleep face down? Uh, I don't arrange my hair at night anymore. Only when I first do up my hair, but I just sleep for I sleep face I sleep face up comfortable, very mummy style sometimes when I sleep. Sometimes I elevate my uh, legs up and like a vampire so to speak. Um, but then I always end up like face down in the morning, face down, ass up. <laughs> I heard that's how the way Heath Ledger died. But <laughs> okay. Um, I've seen a lot of well-known people move to Japan from the United States as rehab for their personal problems. Hmm. Or just to get away from the stress of the U.S. Do you think Japan is a good place to get away? Absolutely not. If you're give, if you're trying to escape America and like oh the hassle of being American, you're gonna run into far more problems out here. And if you don't deal with that shit inside first, that shit comes back out on you. There are a lot of fuck you know like I deal with a lot of fucked up people here on uh, uh, in Japan and shit. Uh, and a lot of fucked up gaijin and a lot uh, to deal with a lot of fucked up people online i just got more john famously just text me about probably some more backlash from online hate but if you don't deal with that shit on the inside first like you can see it. there's so many weird fucking foreigners out here like that just you know they couldn't survive deal with their hometown or home country and they kind of came out here to escape that because they felt like no one would judge them um but it's still still inner growth i didn't really become like uh, i went from a young adult to like a real man when i was in fukuoka for reals because i was still out here in tokyo when i was living out here five years ago acting a fool and shit and just thinking about chasing skirts or whatever, fucking this, fucking that, like, you know, just playing around and shit, and I didn't really get, become wiser until sometime after The Dark Knight Rises, uh, a little bit before then, but that just taught me a lot about life and, like, uh, about jumping without a rope and all that other shit, and it was time to get serious. Do I watch or follow any sports or leagues in Japan? Um, I actually watch um, mixed martial arts a lot. K1. I'm probably going to check out if they're doing it. The, they're having a fight called Akebono versus Bob Sap again. 12, 14 years in the making. If you guys know, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. That, that, that was a really big fight back in the day. So, very curious about that. How would you react if Dante's next roast would be the roast of Akasan? <laughs> I would say too soon. There is more than near there's more than enough time to put some more dirt on me. <laughs> but you know what? I got shit ready for Dante too. I'm Dante, man. I got some fucking video footage and all that shit, man. Yeah, I'm Dante, I see you. But it's cool, we good though. What advice would you have for an aspiring reactor on YouTube? 
big fan of yours and your videos big supporter thank you very much terrible day to ask me that shit though but um let me go let me make that the closing remark then are you going to react to the RKO squad a recent Randy Orton mashup I guess I might um yeah I might um can you do an LP let's play on the Final Fantasy X demo I did a while back a way back now I just don't have a TV <laughs> or connection or some shit um did they, if they updated the demo, maybe I'll play it again sometime. I can't wait to get back on Twitch and do all that stuff because it was real fun, a fun way to communicate with you guys. But we just got to be patient. Maybe in the next two weeks or so, maybe we can get something out. I'm going to go shopping for a TV when I move and not even a TV, but a cheap LED screen or something like that, 1080. It's just something small. I found out that's cheaper than uh, what we're, what I've been doing or what I was planning to do. So it's still a temporary situation this moving thing I'm just gonna move to another temporary place a little better a little nicer better lighting and everything and it'll look a nor little more normal to you guys um, but maybe I'll get a little TV in the meantime yeah uh, are you cool are you cool with blast huh? blast blast blasphemous right blasphemous HD if not why um, I've never really actually seen his channel like the only the only video I've seen of his was through a reaction hate video that John famously uh, John famously told me about and shit. It was called a reaction reaction. <laughs> it was just <laughs> it was funny. It was a very funny. It was it wasn't as good as Grade A under A or I hate everything's videos or everything like that. But it was just kind of funny, like <laughs> just the way. Um, that yeah, dude put him, no pun intended, put him on blast and shit. Um, so that was the only video. But what I did like, what I did like, even though, yeah, I get the point uh, that dude was making. Uh, but uh, regardless of that, I did like the fact that it um, uh, looks like uh, Blast was giving credit uh, to the YouTuber or no, uh, to whatever video he was watching. I think it was like uh, YouTubers that uh, used to be famous or something like, and then they killed himself or some shit like that. And uh, he gave credit to them. He paused the video. Um, it's still cheap um, way of doing it. I mean, I can't say I'm doing any better with uh, uh, my non TV reactions and such, but at least it's breaking it up enough, and uh, at least he doesn't, you know, give in to the fans that just want him to play it through and shit. Um, and you know, this point is good uh, with recent situations going on. Um, there are things that I think uh, all reactors need to consider in terms of uh, the the kind of content they're snatching without permission but that's a whole nother thing i know he's not cool with me so but i wouldn't really be here if i cared about what people thought about me but you know most people have the wrong impression of me based on that call to youtube but i don't give a shit so let's go ahead and close it out here with the closing question and that is what advice do you have for aspiring reactors uh, re a re aspiring reactor on YouTube a big fan of yours and your videos keep big supporter well if you are a big fan of me you probably already know uh, sir or ma'am that um, there's a certain strict set of rules that I have um, you know as uh, I didn't start as a react channel um, but it's not really. Some people think it's a React channel. Some people think it's the Akasan channel. I don't really care what people think. But um, I do have a specific set of rules and such. And I think that's important for your identity uh, if you want to create a reaction channel. You know, a lot of reaction channels are getting a lot of hate. But I think you can avoid that particular hate if you already have a set identity of the kind of stuff you want to react to. The stuff I really only really enjoy reacting to is stuff that I en I enjoy as a fan and I think that's the way it, it should always be. You know, reactors only became a certain something because um, 
you know, I was able to put some of them together and we all started ended up on these compilation lists and shit. So in short, I'm running out of time, so <laughs> I'll have to answer this another time. Basically, do your own thing. Stop ripping off. Don't rip off any other YouTubers because that's basically like someone taking your shit and getting more views and getting paid for it, regardless of what other people say. Do your own thing and be careful about that and be creative.